If you want to see a Stephen King movie done correctly, look no further than Misery, directed by Rob Reiner, starring James Caan and Kathy Bates. Misery is a fantastic psychological horror. This movie is just oozes this atmos this claustrophobic atmosphere. And Rob Reiner and Barry Sonnenfeld, you know, who's the, who the DP on the film, create this claustrophobic atmosphere, to, and they just milk it for all it's worth. Basic summary of this movie. Paul Sheldon is a writer, best known for creating these series of books called Misery. Trying to break out of that, you know, of that, of that typecast, is isolated in a hotel, trying to work on his first non-fiction book. He goes in, he gets, he goes, he, on his way to New York, he gets into a car accident because he gets cra caught in a soul storm, and he's saved by this character called Annie Wilkes, played by Kathy Bates. At first, Annie Wilkes, you know, she's a nurse, she seems very, very nice, very, very kind. However, as the movie progresses, we see that Annie Wilkes, she's not all right upstairs, and that just the slightest agitation will make this woman flip a switch. And she'll just go postal on you. And as the movie progresses, we find out that Annie Wilkes has been involved or has been suspected of several killings, particularly uh, that of uh, babies in a hospital. So, and that just makes everything so much worse because since Paul Sheldon was in a car accident, he does not have the use of his legs. His arm is in a sling. So the man is pretty much paralyzed and just... He's in fear for his life because he can't, he, his ways of defending himself is very, very limiting. And James Caan's performance as Paul Sheldon is amazing because Paul Sheldon is the, is, who is the audience. He is the vessel for which the audience attaches themselves to. And you need an actor like James Caan who has that on-screen charisma that can suck the audience in and make the audience feel for this man make the audience feel this man's pain and want to root for this man to survive especially when the shit hits the fan and James Caan I, I, I know Kathy Bates gets a lot of praise for this movie and deservedly show her portrayals as Annie Wilkes is fantastic the way she can balance being this sweet woman to a full-blown psychopath is amazing and she does it in a flawless way where it never seems cheesy or corny it feels natural and when we see her go flip that switch, we're just as afraid of her as Paul as Paul Sheldon is. But I don't I know I don't think James Cannon James Cannon James Can gets enough respect for this film as well because if his character as Paul Sheldon didn't work, then this movie would not work. Vice versa for uh, the Annie Wilkes character, if Kathy Bates did not work, or if they got someone else to play uh, Annie then this movie itself wouldn't work. So it's like this movie was like the perfect... Com it was like the, com the perfect match between James Caan and Kathy Bates. And 90% of the movie is focused on them. And if those two actors were not right for one another from, in terms of an on-screen chemistry, or if it was someone else entirely, I don't think this movie would have worked at all. But thankfully, we did get actors, the two actors that worked phenomenal off one another and we got the movie we got which is just this like i said this amazing psychological horror that just toys with you that's what misery does it toys with you because like we're so invested into the paul sheldon character that we feel we're paul sheldon we're paul sheldon when paul sheldon's in his wheelchair you know struggling around the house trying to look for anything to defend himself with to try and stop annie or just like try and look for any source of help we want him to find that help we feel like paul when Paul Sheldon gets hobbled in the in the infamous scene where Annie crushes his ankles with a sledgehammer, we feel the pain of that sledgehammer breaking his breaking his ankles. And again, that's just it's good acting, it's good writing, it's Rob Reiner knowing what knowing knowing what he wants to do, and it's Barry Sonnenfeld's cinematography that creates that atmosphere and helps bring it everything to life. Now, of course, we, and of course, this movie also has a, a, their own little supporting cast. You have Richard Farnsworth, who plays the character of Buster, who is a small town sheriff. And I like the character of Buster. I think he's really, I think he's a good character. You know, he has, he has a good wit to him. I like the chemistry with him and his wife. It's very cute. They come across as very, very cute. This cute old couple that bickers one on one another, but there's nothing but love there. And if you want to do a compare and contrast, 
while Buster and his wife have this loving relationship, Annie and Paul have this volatile relationship that in Annie's mind is a love fest because she's his number one fan. She knows everything about Paul. She, she's in love with Paul the writer, but now she's falling in love with Paul the man. And in her warped mind, what she's doing is out of love. And you just and the way Kathy Bates can pull that off and it makes you almost feel sorry for her in a way. You you get that sense of vulnerability that only Kathy Bates can do to the point where you feel sorry for her, but you're still afraid of her. Incredible acting. Incredible acting. So, yeah, obviously Misery to me is a perfect 10. This movie's fantastic. It has everything you want. It has a good, tight story. It's got a great pacing. It never slogs. It goes brisk. This movie goes at such a fast pace. It's like, but it, it goes at a fast pace, but you have time to process the information being given to you. You're invested into the characters. You're invested into the atmosphere. And you're invested into the story, more importantly. So, yeah, easy 10 out of 10. If you have not seen Misery, what are you waiting for? If you want to see a good Stephen King movie, Misery is the one you want to watch. If you have seen Misery, let me know in the comment sections below. Like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll check you back next time for more.